Hello everyone. In this video, today we are going to cover how we can use IFM maintenance tool to update the firmware on the basic controller, basic display, and the smart controller. Uh, but first, we need to have the latest maintenance tool software, which is available in our download area on our website. So you can access this by going under service and then clicking on downloads. It will get you to this page and then you select mobile machines. And under mobile machines, if you keep scrolling down, you will see in section 1.3, you've got maintenance tool. And then we download this particular one, which says maintenance tool, including CanFox driver, which is the latest version. If you just click download, it should download onto your PC. Then uh, the next thing that you would require is IFM CanFox programming cables. So the part numbers are here. So this is the one part that you require, which is EC2112. And the second one is an adapter cable, is EC2113. So both these things uh, are like prerequisites before we move forward to update the firmware on the basic controller and the basic display. All right. So the next step now is to install the maintenance tool onto your PC. And once you've installed it, what you can do is you can just double click on the maintenance tool icon and then it should open up this window. Now, the first step is to right click on Ecomat Mobile, load add-in and select CAN and add. So this adds the CAN interface onto the maintenance tool. And straight away you will see that I have a CAN Fox plugged in, IFM programming cable and it comes here. And then you've got a baud rate of 125. All right. The next step is we right click on CAN, load add in, and then select basic system and add. Now select basic system and then you go on the settings. So here it's very important to put the default settings from the factory. So in our case, the basic controller, the CAN interface one has an OID of 127 and a baud rate of 250. So we select 250 here, all right? And uh, you can find all the default node ID and baud rate uh, setups in the installation in instructions for the respective units. So moving forward, the next step now is we go on to software and click on load, all right? Then it comes up with this screen. Now we need to point it to the right firmware file to download to the basic controller. So we select open file. And this usually is stored in the location under, under your C drive. So it's C drive, program files, x86. Then we scroll down and select IFM electronic, codices version 2.3, targets, IFM, library, and then we select the relevant part number. So in my case, I'm using a CR0403. So here it is. So you will see for the basic controller, basic display, and the smart controller, they all need a firmware with the RESX extension. All right. And you, I would always recommend to use the latest one. So in my case here, the latest one is version 030400. So select that and click open and then it appears on your maintenance tool. Now all you have to do is select that and then click on load and it says executing this command puts the device into stop mode. Do you want to proceed? Just click on yes. And once it establishes the communication, we can see a progress bar uh, starting to increase here and you will also see the percentage of download on this part here, as you can see now. So once the software has been successfully loaded, the firmware has been updated on the basic controller, you come up with this message and you can click OK. So that means the firmware update has been completed. And now if you look at the LED on your basic controller, basic display or the smart controllers, you will see the LED has got solid green. 
So that means there's no more application and the firmware has been successfully loaded. IFM, close to you.